YouTube has keyboard shortcuts that you can use to scrub through videos. So instead of pressing play with your mouse and then going here to press pause, you know, you can actually do things on your keyboard instead using keyboard keys to do it a bit more efficiently. So of course we know the space bar can pause the video and stuff, but there's a lot more than just that. There's actually another key to pause. Here is a list of different things that you can use to manipulate YouTube videos. It's just different key binds like K does something, J and L does something, all of these weird keys do something so we're gonna go through all of these today and check out what they all do so the first one is spacebar and so if you have the seek bar selected you can press the spacebar to pause and play the video so as long as like you know it's selected you have to click right here to select right see it's selected now you can mess with the video but you have to have certain things selected because I noticed the spacebar doesn't always work like sometimes the page will skip down it's just like the spacebar is unreliable but there are other keys the K button is also a pause and play feature so if if I press the K key on my keyboard look it'll pause and play the video. That's so cool. I actually use this one a lot because it's always reliable, right? Now, if we touch the letter M, it will mute and unmute the video. So pay attention to this right here. I'm going to press M. Look at that. The video is being muted and unmuted. It's just a toggle on and off switch all from pressing M on my keyboard. So cool. Now we have two other options here, J and L. So J will skip the video back by 10 seconds. So that's a feature on mobile that you can use if you press a certain side of the screen. And then if you press L, it'll go forward by 10 seconds. So that's really cool. The next one here, we have a dot and the comma. So the period and the comma, the period skips to the next frame and the comma goes back a previous frame. I did not know this, this is really cool. So you can go frame by frame on a YouTube video. That is so useful. What the heck? That's so cool. And then it doing the comma will go backwards. That is really, really useful. Oh my God. I'm gonna be using that a bunch because sometimes I need a frame selected and it's really hard to pause at the right moment. That's so cool. The next one is the right and left arrow on the keyboard. So if we press left, it'll go back five seconds. So instead of, you know, J and L being 10 seconds, right? It's just five seconds with the back arrow, but the forward arrow will go forward five seconds. So it's just, if you don't want 10 seconds, cause that might be too much. You can go by five second increments. Okay. So the next one is the greater than and less than symbols. So uh, these will speed up the video playback rate. So I did not know this one. So in YouTube settings, if you press this gear and you can go to playback speed and you can change all this, but there's a YouTube setting for that because the greater than less than symbols are still on the same key as the period and comma. So if we press shift and then do it, look at that. We're now at 0.25 speed and then you can speed it up to double speed. That's so cool. That's a very, like they should have remapped this to something else. Cause like that's who's ever going to discover that. That's really cool though. Uh, I like that that's a keyboard feature. The next one is the home or end button on the seek bar. So that will get you to the last seconds of the video. So let's press end on my keyboard. It'll go right to the end and the home will restart the entire video. That is very cool. The next one is the up and down arrow, which will increase or decrease the volume. So uh, we're muted right now, but let's see, we're unmuted. If we press the up arrow and the down arrow, look at that, it'll go down by 5%. So if you just hold it, it'll go a lot quicker, but one tap is just like, see so you're at 45, now we're at 50. So you can just go up and down with the up and down keys. That's cool. This one I don't use too much, but the numbers one to nine will go to certain parts of the video. So let's, let's play around with this. So if we press one, it'll go to 10% into the video, right? If we press two, it'll go to 20% into the video. Three is 30. So each number is like the percentage. So four five will take you to like midway half, you know, 50%. Six, seven, eight, nine. And then if we press zero, it'll take you to the start. So it won't take you to the end. The next one is the slash button. So if we press slash, it'll activate the search bar. You see now how there's like the, the text that's selected up here. So now we can type in here. Uh, I think Google is the same actually. So that's really uh, consistent. I like that. The next button is F, which is to activate full screen. So full screen, you just press F. It takes you full screen. Pretty simple. I use this one a lot actually, because sometimes I like watching full screen. <laughs> I wish there was a theater mode. Oh, there is. So if we press T, it'll take you theater mode. That's so useful. I just learned that. Wow. Theater mode is my favorite one, right? So that's great. Now you can also go to mini player if you press I. So mini player will take you sort of to the YouTube homepage. Uh, I accidentally hit this one a lot, which is kind of annoying. I hate this button because I hate watching videos in mini player. No one wants to see all this junk, you know? I just want to watch the video. So if we press it again, it'll take you back to the video. 
is kind of annoying. I don't, I don't like that one. All right, the next one is C, which is to activate captions. It's basically just a toggle button. So see, if we press C, it turned on YouTube captions and then we'll turn it off. So on and off easy the last two are shift n and shift p so these will move to next videos in a playlist so let's go to my japan vlog series playlist so we're obviously we have a playlist on the side now here so if we press shift n it'll go to the next video in the playlist so we're now at frolic friday in japan but if we press shift p it should go back to the original one we were at i thought shift p prints a page but that's control p see there we go but we don't want to save this page as a pdf because that's kind of lame but shift p will take you back that's kind of a very unique one i would never think to use and so that is all that's on here they do mention like media keys because sometimes your keyboard has like a play button so it'll still work if i press the play button on my keyboard it'll play the video obviously so that's cool look at that that's great <laughs> so those are all the YouTube shortcut keyboards. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't gone over this yet on my channel, but uh, I use these a lot, especially like K. I use K a lot and M in full screen. So it's very useful. So if you thought that was cool, click subscribe. I will, you know, share new YouTube features with you in another video. So thank you for watching and fly on.